This video is a basic overview on creating and submitting a basic line bid. Additional bidding tutorials can be found in the PBS bidding resources. From the bids page, choose the current or default bid. The current bid only works for one bid month while the default bid can be updated and used throughout the year. A default bid will only ever be erased if you change bases. If any lines are submitted in a current bid, the current bid will be used and the default bid will not be used. When ready to begin building your bid, select the Add Bid Group button. It's blue in the upper right hand corner. This should only be used when adding a bid group. Select Pairing Bid Group. And when finished, apply the changes and close out the editor. Next, you'll use the Add button to add a line to your new bid group. Let's add a wave. Waves automatically go to the top of every bid group. As you see, I've been selecting the word and not the box to open the next editor. In this case, I'll allow 24 hours off in seven days. Once I've selected that line, I'll apply the changes and close out the editor. We can add another line by selecting the Add button, or we can use the Insert Above or Insert Below buttons above, or in these three parallel lines, we also have the Insert Above and Insert Below buttons. We're going to select some days we'd like to prefer off. It's important then when choosing dates that you tell the program what the order of importance is for you. The program reads dates in order of importance from left to right and top down. If the 18th is more important than the 17th, the 18th should be listed before the 17th. After that, your next most important date listed next. When finished, apply the changes and close the editor. Let's add another line. Let's add an avoid line to avoid flying to JFK layovers. We'll select layover, stations, where it says none selected, you'll click there. You can either type JFK or scroll to find it and click it. When finished, hit apply and close to close out the editor. Next, we'll insert another avoid line. Avoids, prefer offs, and set conditions all apply to the award lines below them. In this case, let's avoid the position B. We'll select Position, select B, add it to the box below, hit Apply and Close when finished. Let's go ahead and begin adding an award line. Award lines are typically written with multiple preferences on the same line. In this example, we'd like three-day Denver layovers. So we'll hit our layovers, type in Denver. Instead of hitting apply, we'll go back to layover, back to award pairings, and we're back to the bid preference editor. We'll hit Pairing Length, select Exactly, 3. And we'll scroll down to add our final preference, Position A. Add it to the box below. If you'd like any other preferences, you can add them here. When finished, hit Apply to apply the changes and close to close out the editor. Now we can write the next one saying we'd like Denver layovers if four days in the A position, or we can copy and paste this. We'd select that line six by clicking on the line. Use the copy button from here 
or with the three parallel lines you can copy here as well. You can paste from this three parallel lines menu and you can paste from the icon as well. You can also delete the line if you want to remove that line from your bid. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it. And let's edit line seven to say four days. You can edit it through the drop down menu or through the edit icon. We'll go into the already created award line scroll down to pairing length, we'll change it to four days, hit apply and close to close out the editor. If I'd like to select lines six and seven at the same time, I would just select the number to the left. Now I can copy and paste them both or delete them both. I could move them up or down if they weren't already at the bottom. When finished, don't forget to submit your bid. The pop-up alerting you that your bid submission was successful will show up and it will show that you have submitted successfully with a confirmation number. If you are submitting a current outside of the bid period, a current cannot be submitted. If you are submitting within the bid period, your default confirmation number as well as your current confirmation number should be the same. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to pbs.qa at alaskaair.com.